Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, I had a weird NVIDIA error. Um, and I lost the feed in my OBS. Um, I don't know, I hope my computer is not slowly falling apart. And it was just a random glitch. Um, I heard a funny noise as I was coming back from my um, little break. I thought it was just an alert that was popping up in the sidebar that I would see after I finished, but it might have been something to do with the video feed. But yeah, I had no camera or whatever, and it had stopped recording. So, yep, no idea what that was. Um, it's not Twitch rate limiting. I know you're joking, Arkesh, but it's not. Um, I'm just hoping it's not my PC being on its last legs, because, you know, I've only had it like four years. Anyway, um, I checked the end of the other video and it ended on this screen, so we'll just slice it together. Um, I'll, well, I'll either try and slice it together or I'll just upload two bits. Either which way. Hopefully you can all hear me, see me. <coughs> I'll carry on. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl A, boy F, and the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. Aha! Uh -huh. By using the staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. Sumiki, Kazumi, Hiyoko, Miyoda, Sato, Kazuri, Kazuri. I'm gonna screenshot that this time. First play first character was Gil, eh? We decided that was Nikam. I see! Girl A is probably Nikon Sumiki. <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. If I'd known that at the beginning, I'd done the voices the same. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Is it in order? Is the question. Okay, which is Sumiki, and then let me um, get the name things up. You see, it says Hiyoko rather than. Seonji, which is what confused me. Koizumi is girl B. Miyoda. Yeah. It's really annoying because it's like... Why why is her surname not in here? Why is it her first name? And then we've got Kazuri Kazuri. We don't have a Sato. Do know that name? But Sato is girl E, so if we're going in order... Here is next. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy! Ha! A nasty, trashy pig- Ah, a nasty, trashy 
sheep pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? Kill mm. C? No, okay. Damn it! Oops. I see! They're not in order, then. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me! Anyway. Let's move on. Next is girl C. Hyper energetic. Well, that's got to be a booby. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> oh dear. Let's move on to girl D. One who's already had a or always had a camera with him. I see! Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip girl E and talk about guy F. Fuyuhiko? I see! Aren't you guy F, Fuyuhiko? I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Ah, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Except Miyota, it wasn't. Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on! Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? Hmm. The reason Fuhika's last name Kuzuryu appears twice. Yeah, so call me out like that, Nagito. You're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. I'm going with older sister. Damn it! Um, no. He had a little sister then. I can prove it with this. He just looks younger. In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions oh. that he has a little sister. He oh, does actually, but he just looks so young. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? Look how short he is. This is what Guy F said in the game. Yeah. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why. By the way, what Oops. role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? I don't want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is...
Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the movie. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. Hi, Ray. You're just in time to... Well, I say just in time to. In probably an hour or so, we'll find out who did it. I mean... When I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me, as usual, and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! He's looking mighty suspicious, but so is the little girl with the pigtails. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. You are coming back from the markets. I know. L little, little guy is very um, foul-mouthed. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so... Then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. The heck is that wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? If F killed E... And E killed the sister. Also, hey Dopey. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say hey Dopey because you think you came in at the point my stream was um, crashing because of a weird technical glitch that I hope never, ever, ever occurs again. But I will try and figure out how to. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, it's just I think I need to update my NVIDIA graphics card driver or something. My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting I don't like to say hi to people so until they actually say hi violent. or say something. So. My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. That did sound very forced. 
So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed! Mm -hmm. I see! The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. But it would be too easy if he was a killer. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But... It... Is it... Is that true? Girl E... She... She killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. And girl E came from the other direction. I'm surprised you went to all no, this trouble. Billy is the one by locked door at the top. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case. Understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means... Girly was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E was waiting in the hallway as the killer. What did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? Clear that out first.
after she killed the first victim in the music room. What did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. I see! Now the mystery has been solved! Wait a minute! The mystery hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! I imagine the murder weapon is what broke the window. So maybe it was thrown outside and she picked it up later, maybe it was the bat. Fine! Let's figure out the weapon! If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit! Shall we? Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though! So not the baseball bat. Now the fish time. then, will you guys be able to figure it out? Unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. Told her we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. Uh, what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. As I out of line just now. Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with a silencer. Once you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty sits gentle, blah blah blah. Debate is getting tougher. Use of information. The guy in gun something. Apparently has the skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something. Ah! Gun down. So we need to level up with him then. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Who 
speaking of which, no weapon apparently appeared in the game, but... A weapon Ooh. inside the music room, huh? There's also the fact that there were lots of empty bottles in there. Oh my god, could they have been filled with blood? a swimsuit that's gonna bludgeon I don't actually know the answer what about broken glass isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Not that. You're beating someone. Oh, blood shit sounds. Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? Maybe this investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! A weapon inside the music room, fish huh? tank. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Mm. Damn it! I thought the thing was a green. Oh, be fast forward. Okay, that's great. Okay. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Oh, could have bashed her into the window. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Damn it! A 
weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? I know I can list them with LB. I, the point is that I have no idea what the answer is <laughs> and what I'm supposed to be hitting and I'm running out of time. Damn it! A weapon inside the music. What I'm trying huh? to figure out is What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken I glass? I really don't know what the answer to this thing is. It was a broken window. Stolen swimsuit. The broken vase, but I don't think that's the answer. I mean, her head could have been bashed into the window, it's just then which thing do I fire it at? And I can't agree with fish tank. Unless broken glass... No, but I tried broken glass and escape route. I tried fish tank and fish tank. I've tried several against the covered in blood. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. It's more that the instructions. Am I just am I hitting the wrong key? No, I'm sure I'm firing it. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! thing I can think of is that it was something wrapped in the swimsuit, but... Got a little bit of random emails. Thank you, sir. Could have been the window, bashed into the window. Could have been the fish tank, but I tried to agree with the fish tank and it didn't work. Might need to be the vase because it would have been really obvious if that had had blood on it. It's got to be the something with the swimsuit. It's 
got to be something with a swimsuit because that's the only thing unconventional weapon it's the only thing a weapon inside the music room, huh? what about broken glass isn't the cause of death a blow to the head then she attacked her with the fish tank that's too big to be a weapon then the piano that's even bigger why are you going even bigger the investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Okay. That was anyone I hadn't tried something on. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> Just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! Mm -hmm. You're not chosen at all! And gravel is impossible! It's too small to be a weapon! What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? I was distracted by the pink things. If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it has to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And, apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Just being bullied. But yeah. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Still not an excuse. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. Mm, swimsuit and gravel seems fairly premeditated. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. A and from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? That's pretty scary. But also, thanks, Alkash, for reminding me about the holding thing. The problem wasn't the truth bullets. The problem was that I couldn't figure out how they fit together. <laughs> but Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? It's that guy. I see! It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister but, but guy f is what it's just a story in a video game isn't it that's all you can say if that game is telling the truth it'd be a huge problem for you unless d murdered e but then what would be the motivation hey clear this up for me those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but 
They don't remember. That's obvious. Because their school memories were, like, totally stolen. Even if I don't remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy. You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, the game and Mahiru's death are probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point. The, uh, middle bar. I can prove it with this. <laughs> Wobbly hair is I'm not sure the two funny. events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both That's killed by a blow to the head with a metal the bat. There's no way we right. can ignore that connection. To make it look like that picture. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way to avenge the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You, you better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! To be fair, it could have been A, B, or C. As well as F that could have killed Girlie. You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And it's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious, but don't you think that'd be too obvious? What are you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. T trap What do you mean? The true killer played that game, and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up the Yuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru, and used the game motive as their cover? I've just noticed that this guy has like a knife and fork. <laughs> Wonder if that stamp becomes the method of their killing. Isn't that what happened, Kyoko? Huh? I suspect her. But if we get rid of her, then we get rid of all the characters that I don't like, except for my creepy friend who is not my friend anymore. Which don't you understand? I mean, my hero wasn't I'm bad. You might be the true killer. I just was very taken aback by what she said at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet? I'm just gonna skip through her insult. Because I don't like her potty mouth. She's a bully. Footprints on the beach. You four eyed troll accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! Yep, what are you saying, you four eyed troll? But there was a Excuse line over it, so I need to that line first. <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. Oops. But I didn't go to the beach house! No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house... I mean, they're very they convenient yours? footprints. I don't have such ugly footprints! They're probably Nikons based on how ugly they are. There's the note, which may be setting her up too. There's the note, 
The conveniently placed for prints, but we did see her literally in the car park. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Hmm. Huh. Not Yoko's footprints? That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning I mean... The Yakuza guy must have been in there as well. Must have just been very careful. Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened between those two events. Isn't that right, Yoko? Ah, I remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. I mean, we saw you. There's a, but there's a letter. Yeah. I did go to the beach house, but only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house. met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? Hmm. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? met up with her when I never even saw her? Um. Damn it! I did go to the beach house. Alright, uh, okay, so definitely. during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? I did go to the beach house. During my morning walk. No, that's wrong. Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious, I don't know. Oh, 
snap! I remember now! I totally saw you! Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiri at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed you. I think that's slightly too long. It, it felt like she'd found the body. You're wrong! But You're totally wrong! Also, I don't like her, so I kind of wanted to be the killer. And she doesn't squish anymore, Mr. Ants. You also passed by the diner for Yuhiko, so you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Well, three people have to find the body before it alerts. So... Annoying girl, Jakuza, and then Kazuichi. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiri. definitely know she was there. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! But we saw you, running from the beach house, so you were there. I, I'm telling the truth! I really, really don't know! <laughs> Sorry, I don't believe you. Is she really crying? Or is she faking it? I mean, there was a lot of blood. She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. But why would she leave the note there? And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too. I don't think where I was hiding is because in the closet where the gummy bear was. Here! <laughs> we do have. The place where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. I'm assuming the game sound's still coming through okay. Mm. Not sure why Nvidia crashing caused the OBS to have a problem in the middle. Thanks, Alkesh. Um, maybe I'll install the update after this stream. I was putting off installing updates because updates are me because they always break something. But maybe I'll do a little quick backup to install the update. Yoko, your favorite candy is gummies, correct? Something like that before? <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her foot. <laughs> we have presented the proof! My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out! It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? it? It must be that one person! You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You even in the beach house? You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! 
Okay, princess. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head. Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, gosh, that's what I was saying earlier. Um... Single killing blow to the head of the blunt instrument. No traces of drugs. And then there's the streaks. She didn't crawl, she was pulled. Is she strong enough to do that? And honestly, those footprints look suspicious, even though we did see her, she was running. Do those look like running footprints? And what's with the trash can full of drinks? I mean, anyone could have got the gummies, right? And we left one in the cupboard, or it should, yeah, could have dropped one earlier. Why would he queue? So maybe two people are being set up for this. So she's four foot two and she's five four. She is a psychopath, however. No one is what they seem in this game. It's creepy. True. Okay, it's suspicious, but there's something strange. It's probably going to be exactly what I just said there. Being directed by someone. Well, then we've got Ibuki and Mikan. That are also involved. Or literally someone. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house! At the time, the girl facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! Everyone doubts you, okay. Is that really okay? I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints.
shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! No, that's wrong! About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. Look like the same as yellow. The thing was bugging me that strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. And there is a yellow, I suppose. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Those colours don't match up with those flavour names. But if we assume red, green, purple, and orange, despite that having a yellow in the picture. Which I think is what was distracting me, but I was like, you know, there's gotta be something with the gummy here. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Well, but what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene is yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavor. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. It literally has yellow in the picture! Literally has yellow in the picture! Then we can't assume he That's what was the confusing me. That yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! You were definitely there, though. <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! What a coincidence. Hold on, that. you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid! I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! I mean, it could be no one related to the video game. It just seems odd. We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road. Thanks to her, we have the evidence we need. Oh, I just got a blue. Blowing through my screen. Destroyed 100. Okay. I, I think maybe that's the thing. Uh, it was Mikan's autopsy re report. I left those footprints during my morning walk! Yeah, I know what's wrong. I just need We're to not know done with Yoko it. yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road, thanks to her. Ah, uh, it was the bit that we was underneath the We have the, the evidence thing. we need! That's wrong! She's I saying that's wrong. during my morning walk! Okay, so it's We're not done with Yoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and... There we go. No, that's wrong. 
so it wasn't a Kane then. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! It wasn't him then. <laughs> I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. So oh, this is not going to be the little kid. Damn it, I really wanted to get rid of her. <laughs> She's just a bully! Is this someone else? She keeps bullying me, Ken, and it bugs me. The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. Okay. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? So we think that the footprints were the killer. Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the blood. body that bloody, I think her clothes and skin would have been stained with blood. Akane was covered in blood, and a lot of people were in swimming costumes. Unless there was something over the top, but there was something over the top with that mask. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... Not covered in blood, yeah. She was clean. And she was terrified. And upset. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! But why didn't you tell us you found the body? Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! We haven't decided that yet! Oh, it's this one, I forget the mechanics again. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! He found the body as well, man. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it! She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of! I can't back down! Mahiru didn't block the tool. Okay, remember that. No, oh. wrong. Okay, slash in the direction you press, overturn, fast forward, fire truth blade. Okay. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the tool. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the- After she moved the body, she just- The fact that Hyoko was at the- Can be- Did you get all that, you bastard? Yeah, um, we were trying to- If Mahiru didn't block, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with- Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. I can't back down. God damn it, this is really tricky. If Mahiru didn't get then Hiyoko did she killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her pot. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. I can't back down. <sighs> if Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? Sorry, let me just check if the shower room shower is out of order. There's a shower room inside. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through. What was trying floor. to do last time. Shower don't work. No, washing it off in the shower is impossible. That those trials are really hard. Was out, of order. out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then, maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she. Put them back on! 
Are you saying I did something that perverted? So if you could close up before committing murder, that should be impossible. You can't get dressed by herself. I see. She can't do the little bow thing. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Kyoko mentioned this before. Which means Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh, yeah. She couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. I at least smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. You just had a sudden flash. What if it's the princess? <laughs> Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! Oh my, that's just suddenly flipped into my head. If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place. Because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was Akane covered, was in, covered blood in blood is suspicious? Yeah. I mean, literally, I was... so. I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. But then the big guy should back her up now. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. She was insisting that, you know, less strength, so. All right. I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? Yeah. It's okay that I'm not the killer? Yeah, seems like it. See? I already told you. There's no way I'd friends. kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me? Because you lied! Tell the truth, because you know we're going to find out anyway, and then we're more likely to believe you. You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hyoko... Please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bar. I hope you get a hangnail and die. The only one I'm fairly certain that it's not is Kazuichi. Because he was sort of with me at three. There's no way he could have killed her, got back to the diner, and not been covered in blood by three. <laughs> I'm sorry for being pig bar. You can. Are you going to turn out to be a serial killer? Because this sort of subservient anxiety, people pleasing is, it's almost too much. And he's now not sure what happened. But yeah, more importantly, Fuyuhiko's behavior was definitely strange. Getting so worked up on accusing Hyoko of being suspicious. Does he have someone else, something else in mind? Hey Hyoko! Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already, so... Can you give us she the She got there, found the body, realized she'd been set up. I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um... Earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier? She never talked to me at all. Damn it! So that was a lie? She's lying lots. Because I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So... What was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. 
You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. Oh, damn it. She was set up. I really wanted it to be her. A letter? Yeah, this one. Don't worry, discuss study. Is it okay if you change the place? Someone to come to Beach House on the second island. Time to set the same at two. Since someone wants to interfere with my friend. Keep it a secret. Okay. I saw this letter and went to the Beach House at that time. Place and time, time. So, where were they supposed to originally meet? I can prove it with this. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m., but in here... Whoa! The meeting times are off! It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter! How many times do I have to tell you? So to say the letter is forged by the killer, but I wish that is the killer forge. I'm gonna go with Mahiro is the good one. And Yoko's the one. Damn it! Uh, okay, both of them. I see! There we go, okay, fine. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they can manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think. We get handwriting samples from everyone. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, confirmed! Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this Who in the Who else know about the meeting? And that would be the other three people involved in the game. This part. You can't be someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. Hi, Nikki. God, it's evening already. Um. So why get the little kid to come sooner? The, the killer forged both of those letters. Why get the girl that killed come to come at two thirty? In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. I don't know who did it. Maybe Yoko's a guy, but... So they completely tricked me, and then... Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Okay, it wasn't her. Give me back, Mahiru! Really? This is really terrible. Nagito, did you do it? I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Because you out them. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. 
We can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep! Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Oh. Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry! When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> so who was the second person to discover the body, or does the killer count for the three people rule? So either the killer counts, or it was Yakuza guy, Fuyuhika. The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko In which case it could have been Kazuichi. Evidence. Possibly. No, still if she died at three, we were with Kazuichi at three. I don't know. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. It also set up for you, he goes well. That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong! And I was framed by Mahiru's killer! That is true. <laughs> Though you may have been a bully in your unknown memory stuff. Because you are mean! Y Yoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. Mm, Fuyu Hiko, what did you do? This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. We will just take it. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each he other is like poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. <laughs> he was so nice at the beginning. What happened to you? Seriously, which side are you on? <laughs> I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. You're acting like a fanboy. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. I don't know who did this. I have suspicions, but nothing concrete. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. It seems too obvious that it's for you, Hiko. Like, it was, you know, the, the little kid. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yup, yup! The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job! That's the right way! That's the splendid power of teamwork! Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want. Hey. 
Whoa, what? He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Bit of truth, that might be true, but even so, we just can't stand it around all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who in Among Us is my hero's true killer, it's no way we'll survive. Suspend. Why are we suspended? Oh, because it's one of these things. Well, now. Now that the class trial has reached its climax, I'd like to present the answer right here, right now. Yay! I'll spoil who the killer is? If I read over the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. Can't, that's a serious no. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... Come on, everyone, please close your eyes and cover your ears. Correct! You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. <laughs> um... I don't know what you're talking about, but it's somehow it feels wrong to me. Nanu? Yes. Okay, we hit 30 already. Okay, well, we'll just continue overwriting. Ah, oh, and it's half past six. But I kind of, I feel like, you know, I'm Marty, half hour and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room! Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Oh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! And don't forget to save regularly! Now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hiyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hiyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! Shower room? I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, <laughs> but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. It could have been in the fridge. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? No! I'm confused enough with all the other games. Perfect. Okay. Dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the logic dive. During the logic dive, you'll control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. The task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapsis course. You move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the A button. Beat to break, Y to jump. Various obstacles. Okay. Damage every time you form the gap or bump into walls. Branching questions. Okay, several times. Good use of break. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be a disaster. That'd be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after she went away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Well, again, could have been Kazuichi. Then could have been any of the girls that arrived. Um, could have been any of the people we didn't see. Could have been the Hiko.
When did the killer arrive at the beach? <laughs> Before, possibly. When did the camera leave? Oh, fell off. Need to stop doing that. Which means it can't have been Kazuichi. the hell are hiding? Somewhere in the beach house, it has to be. It's all coming together! Killer might have been hiding. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How but it could have been in the surfboard case. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? So there was the surfboard case that was possibly outside the window somehow. Um, so that would have been really obvious. Or but in the fridge. Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. You really don't want that to happen. You tell about me. We don't have the surfboard case. This is just fridge. They hit freeze. Crap. Okay. Right. Okay. Inside the cupboard. Here. There. Surfboard case. Killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. Deathboard case. Also, I've just seen all the wet suits in here, which makes me think... Potentially. Here. Princess lady again. I don't know why I keep gravitating towards her. She's not suspicious at all. I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. 
The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Cause we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I... Then... the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kinda like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hit silent, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer Sorry, was it hiding definitely in the beach wasn't house, Kazuichi. watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! Hm. Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. Who's Prince Shotoku? I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement and is we're made back to my three first or more people first discover a body, right? Is the killer also included? And that was my Among question. those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing Literally the first like thing that. I noticed. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I used it for I deduction. Understand Why your wouldn't excuse, you? It's a clue. Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Interesting. So, if Fuyuhiko because he was in the parking lot, is one of the three, then that means he wasn't the killer. Could be the princess. Which means three people other than the killer And we know the third person was Kazuichi, body. and the first person, or at least one of the other two, was Little Girl. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, who else found the body is what we want to know. Talk. We now know you're not the killer. So it would be really pertinent to own up. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Non-stop debates. Use the truth flashback. If you hold on the Y button, the trace's reticle will change. Memorize. Ah, okay, that's is it, yeah. 
We had this in the last game. It's gotta be used to disagree. Okay. Hold down white. We've only got shower room, okay. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? They covered it up. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, the well, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Use that person's opinion. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Someone other than the killer moved the body. It could have been the second person to find it. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I, it would definitely clump. Maybe it's because like perhaps someone other than maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They Damn didn't it! Have to use the shower. Need to break that first. Maybe they wore one when they, if they used something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and... As someone who flushes, it would definitely clump. Maybe it's the other way. Perhaps someone other than... Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the... Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong. It's the sea. Literally a C. Could have been someone that went swimming. If they just needed to wash off the blood. If, it, if they were wearing a wetsuit. Who kept turned up with wet hair? Echo turned up in a swimsuit with wet hair. She said she'd been swimming around the islands. that said no more death. They could have just as easily used something else. 
something other than the shower. <laughs> like ocean dude. Oh, right, no, that's a good point. The the No, it was the Damn it! Yeah, actually that's a good point. It was actually the drinks inside the refrigerator. Let's see. Could have done it inside the shower. Drinks as well. inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Oh no, Peko. That's impossible. Why? Peko, why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully. And then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Peko, oh no, why? Why, 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 why? Answers trash pen. It's true there were drinks in the beach house. However, try thinking about it. One bottle drink is simply not enough. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. Damn it! It's true there were drinks in the beach house. However, try thinking of one bottle. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. It's true in the beach, however, try one who wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! <sighs> That's really hard. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no there were only flavored drinks with colored dyes. If you use those, the blood will come off and it will leave an egg, especially if you use the lock. Damn it! It's true there were in the beach, however, one bucket wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Some pay attention we to what she was saying. They used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were there were only flavored drinks. If you use those to wash the blood will come off and it will leave an aromatic smell too. <laughs> Didn't I say it was in there were there were only flavored drinks if you use those to what the blood will come off It will leave an air especially if you use that alone with great suspicion <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible there were no water bottles in the river yeah, You're already cut pen. through those words. I went too far. I went I flashed through her thing too quick oh, There were water bottles inside the refrigerator how many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they set their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, I did that, that person it would seems be. you've realized who the killer is. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? See? Just as I thought. Hold on. Hold on. You. You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that. True? Let me ask, who might that be? The killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them. The killer, my Yuri's killing this one. Okay. Not her, not him. She was covered in blood. He wasn't wearing. She wasn't wearing a swimsuit. He was tied up. She was wearing her. Outfit or possibly some. She wasn't wet though. He's dead. 
She was wearing a gorgeous swimsuit, but she wasn't wet. He wasn't there. She was wearing a wetsuit. She said she'd been swimming. He was with me. That's me. She was You're the only one. wet. And she just disputed my water Echo. bottle thing. Is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer. Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. Oh, no worries, Vicky. See you later. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? Why are you yelling at me? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? I... After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? You told me you didn't see Why anyone. Are you... Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Do you want to die? <sighs> not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's not a killer. Not dinner time. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you hide. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! Who was the second person? Did you- were you in the house? Did you see her? Did you see her? Did you help her escape? We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Okay. Well, if Pecco is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping from the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, Do we know where the footprints nothing are? really. Except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Pecco could have reached it. But, but, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Unless she turned around and pulled them up. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. No, they're trying. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. Why are you helping her? No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? 
Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! The sword case thing? No! Please don't be violent! I don't know to get rid of that. Hit it somewhere. That's the case. Oh god, it's a fucking handman's gambit. Excuse my French. Shit. I don't actually know what the answer is. I've also forgotten the controls. Um, catch release explode. Um, right, okay. Not an M. Bamboo sword. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it. I knew it was a ninja. Didn't you did I say tell you? A ninja could have climbed that easily. I liked you. Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Who even talked to you? I found out that you were sad because animals get scared of you. Wow! Just like a Japanese ninja! But she did say she had a purpose. Miss Killing Sonia, killers. ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo What's sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Panic talk action. Fever time and mega time. I hate this. Right bumper. What? Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? 
It would have been left in the shower room, and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. She tied something to the end of the thing and took it with her. Who you, Hiko? Why do you even care? She was tying the thing in her hair when she got out. Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If, if she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Why, why are you... Because she avenged her sister somehow? Got proof, you bastard! Okay. That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Bastard! If she used the bamboo, bamboo sword, sword as a step stool, this is the end! My look at my health, this is bad. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And mm. after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. No! I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater crime. No, oh, you just back off. But why? Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill me? Uh, hold on! You're just making assumptions. You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. Fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted to it just right now. She admitted she's my hero's killer, right? This is right. Even though she knew he was the one arguing with this package, just Among it's flowers, a the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agreed. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm, so it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question... And the princess didn't either, she was my other suspect. I must say, it was for the sake of justice. Justice? In order to... 
protect the justice of this world. Hmm? Hmm? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. You... What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun, and the enduring moon, the protective father, and the smiling mother. Hello! Earth to Pecco! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze, and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It, it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... Could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent oh evil. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! Wait, what? Don't get what's up with me. What the fuck? Pango, what are you doing? I am sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? What's this? Chill! A uh, blah, 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 blah. Pecco finally snapped! Everyone, please be careful! Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice! Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals! She is supposed to be... but... huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy. What he said. <laughs> what the heck is this? Echo is the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. <sighs> hey. Still asleep, but... hey! Now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer. Something's hey. wrong. <sighs> this again? Hang on. I'll be right back. One second. One minute. Why did you kill Mahiru? 
This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. Hit a crime? I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Everyone's cracked here. Evil? Are you saying my hero is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. What are you saying? And executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! Yep. <laughs> She's so gross! Echo, is this your true is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> okay, well then what is he who could try and get at? Because he was not having any of this. Oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. And it. He's right. This we need to end already. The killer in the end. There's no mistake that was Pickle all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. So why was Fia Hika? No, nope, that's not right. That's weak, so... Here's everything that happened in this case. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoka. 
Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. That doesn't feel quite right. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet, so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on him. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Kyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off, and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. Why? After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, 
The killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. Still pretty cool. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Peko Yama? She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch. There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice, to keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. Uh, are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. A few sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore! Let's vote already and execute her! Um... However, before we do that... Onakuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! To say, and also, Fuyuhiko is not happy for some reason. Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one! <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! Okay, I have to turn the um, Xbox sound off while it does the actual execution thing in case of copyright stuff. But... Let's try and all rise. As long as it's Pardon right. me, can we please have a little more time? Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Hmm? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice, am I right? 
Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me, too. I mean... There's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? Distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! Put it in the magazine in the library. So that's what it was. <sighs> I'm snorty. I see! The native language thing. That's right. According to what Sonia said... The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had it translated, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What? I'm not completely misunderstood. When I first heard about these serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. So... Peko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. She's been brainwashed? Or, you insist that you're Sparkling Justice. Can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed. She was a freaking in decoy. Uh huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? We were already voted. We were already voted for her, and it wasn't her that did the killing. Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. I can fucking run. God damn it. This is an elaborately long ending for the you screwed up here. Hey, be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. I have no purpose. I am just a man. She looks hypnotized. She called herself a tool, which means someone else used her then? Of course. A tool she does look a wee bit like Genocide Joe. Genocide. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Body discovery announcement. I see! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier?
That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pecco, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. Yuhi cut. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. He's been lying. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Hello. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes, from your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Hmm? Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? She was framed. Wasn't here. You're the only one. I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. The only reason to believe that it's true is he saw the photos and he recognized his sister. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? Are the events? Overwhelming proof. The thingy file, the end game file. I can prove it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but... There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. all along for you Hiko didn't you so she was the tool but he was the mastermind but she did the killing so she is the blackened you knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister right because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey, why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause Heko is the killer, right? But he would be That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. Did you do the killing or not? I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. You definitely won't. I'm sweating. Hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. Come on. Sheet. The true killer who used oh, me but she as was the weapon. weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? Come on, Gundam, you're not that surprised, what are you? The hell? She was the weapon, though. She did the actual death part. I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim. She dies either way. But my young master does. 
My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth. Is she even a student? I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the loot. That's a problem. If Echo's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! It's done insane. to Monokuma. The weapon... If the person is used as a weapon, solely as a tool, does that still count as being the killer? How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! Yeah, this is what I'm confused about, Nekamura, as well. It's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait she dies and either see way. what Monokuma decides. She doesn't care. What the hell? Everyone's basically just not what you'd expect in this game. This is so weird. Okay, so we did not do great at some of these levels. We got a B. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahit poison me is... Hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Oh, wait. So sorry. I'm just hesitating. Hey! There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekka's the killer. <sighs> Why? Hey, hey. What? Ah! you're not a tool, you're a freaking human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just you don't just, know. You just don't know. You don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself. Only exist to be tools? Hey. What she mean for you? Yeah. Becca and I grew up together. Um. Are you two child friends then? No. No, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kazuriya clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? So she's a slave. Property or so. It means she's an it man, arranged by my clan to work directly under me. So she's not a student, or is she a student? If my okay, look at the little two about adorable babies! I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Okay, but they are the two most adorable little kitty winkies. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. It's two people now that are getting that away is... with murder because of other people. But that is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Pego. Because if you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Ah, our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you are hiding your relationship, you mean. No. It's not as if that starts at the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, a young master has already to always told me to hide, hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by its household. 
I'd feel sorry for him, but he just orchestrated a murder and he's about to get off scot-free. I am nothing but a tool. As did Nagito. Two of them need to kill each other, that would sort us out. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then the one who tried to kill my hero wasn't you, it was... Hmm? Fuyuhiko? Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given photographs. I was at the end of Sunday already. Where'd my weekend go? Sorry, just rescuing my um, tablets. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photographs? Don't fuck with me! And she's covered in blood. She died at the school. What's it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister's dead? You... You tried to confirm it with my hearings. And that's why you tried to talk to her. So? Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. She never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure my hero was confused too. I mean, we all were. When we played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... Oh, that um, means that she probably killed Girl E as well. Because they were both at the school. And Guy F didn't do anything, technically. Technically. You know, when my hero spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Aww... I'm sorry, I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, you're not gonna go, Mihiro? You wanna talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm. It's pretty important, so you know, you'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um. Serious or not, I really can't do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. But. If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. It's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Yoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. <sighs> I should have gone too. But. It was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, for Yuhiko? Make use of their plan to meet each other alone. You could easily learn my hero, my hero into a trap. Hey. By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? An eye for an eye, that's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here, Damn it. no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so? My young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game that's what used, was used to kill Girl E. A revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister would kill just seemed to make sense. Even if it were in my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So... Th that is why you killed Mahiro with the bat. Yeah. But still, I believed her up until the last, very last minute that the game was just a work of fiction. Even so, that bitch. Hey. If that game is actually real, you're the one that killed Gully. Why, you? I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? I had no right to do that. No one has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over my hero, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with a plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, all that went out the window. It really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, the young master called for me and made me kill my hero. Okay, so still technically, she's the one that wielded the weapon. Huh? Huh? Young master, I am finished. Why does he look surprised? Because she's still trying to save him. Whether he did or she did it. 
the vote is such that he lives. What? Are you saying you killed because you were ordered to? A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. Uh -huh. I don't get this at all. Of course. Well, of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just prints to understand and pretends to be understood. Oh my god, yes, that is too true. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Afterwards, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. So in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted on you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes. Mm. We fell for it. We fell for a trick all along. <laughs> and that's right, you guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me a mere tool as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong. Oh, hold on, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. Now it should be decided already, isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, let's talk about Peko being a tool is pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiku is actually the true killer. Ah! Hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see. So for Peku, Fuyuhiku is your true hope then. On his behalf, you killed my hero and now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> at all. Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then. So I'm going to guess that's someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, sacri surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us? <laughs> Is that your hope? <laughs> what? Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? Seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to put, protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf, the fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer, all those things she ordered to do, is that the truth? Huh? Uh, um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know you ate our guts, but... Huh? You listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die. Yeah. I... Young master. Young master. You just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders, you just have to tell them. I... I... Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those Id idiots, Biakia and Tero Tero are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're, you're saying that? Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? Yes! Young Master! There is no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please just tell them the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. Uh -uh. For you, Hiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you're still losing hey. but you insist you're the killer just as she said, you can sacrifice and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Peku and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! Young Master, I am finished. He, you. What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Oh. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. She's been brainwashed. Without an owner, a tool serves no purpose. 
God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then, why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A... Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You, you idiot. This is going on incredibly longer than I expected. I intend to fulfill my duty. I think I'll just keep the two stream halves separate. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. Oh, that's how he didn't leave any. So he is the- He was the other person! I got that you right. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! How about it, Fuyuko? Please tell us the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Paco. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Because if that's what actually I have to do to survive, I'd feel ashamed of myself. I mean, I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Paco. And if I admit to that, it means you really are just a tool to me. Times did I tell you I don't want a tool given to me by the Kazuria clan. Young master! Uh oh! Oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad! You thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. How disappointing. Which means everything happened here thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why you? There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Phew, we're good. Hey. And Akuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew what Pekka and Fuhiko discussed. Jeez. It's obviously you now, you I mean that's why you have surveillance cameras, you're just having fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Even if it was an act of desperation, Pekka's claim was surprisingly interesting. And he likes intrigue. <laughs> yeah, you're actually the first to try and influence the outcome of a trial like that. <laughs> Too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pekka, the tool with the heart, is the killer. Girl, I'm sorry, I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me with a chance to survive. But I... <sighs> you had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young master. You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. And that's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. If you just sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself, I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together even since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then, then why? Even so. I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. Echo. Echo. I'm terribly, I'm terribly sorry. sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. I really liked you. I wanted to get to know you better. Damn you, turning out to be a... very partial psychopath as well. Maybe a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please, please do not call do it not cause a senseless killing, killing such as this ever such... again. Of course. Well, <laughs> none of us really want to kill people. But there'll be another motive that'll trigger somebody else. <sighs> that will do, Monokuma. Why didn't you start it already? I will never, so you know, feel never feel despair. despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need any tools. Oh. You did say that. And let's begin. Punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Jeez. I don't you get it yet. Thrills, it's... chills, kills! It's time for the ultimate salt woman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I... 
I never needed a sword or a shield. You wanted a friend. I never needed a tool. So... You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why? Why, Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! He didn't want to kill anybody. He didn't want to kill anybody. He just wanted them to be together together. Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Pecco. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Sorry for him now. He's angry, but he he never. He just wanted answers. He didn't want anyone to die. It's fake bravado. Young master. Young master. Okay, muting the Xbox because game over. Pecco has been found guilty. Time for the punishment because. In the previous game, every time these sections were flagged, so. No sound. This is... Oh, look at him in the back. He's trying to stop. One woman army. There's some really jazzy music. Shit, he just got slashed. Oh god. And now she's getting stab, 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 stab. But is Fuyuhiko dead as well? Okay, there was a giant scream there, which I'm not going to repeat. Oh, he sacrificed himself because he didn't want to live without her. That's so sweet, but also... <laughs> More people we hadn't talked to! So recently falling like dominoes. You bastard, what is this? This this can't be. This is a, a, a line, right? Oh, okay. Such a waste. Such a waste. Yeah, I get it. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it. Supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. You're still talking about that. You. What's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed off that two of your friends just got killed? Such despair. Pissed, and I even feel sad and hopeless. But still. Isn't that right? It's going to be all right. This despair is worthless. <laughs> and this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us, and that is a creepy cackle. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Huh. Calling me a ladder, huh? And you say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> In your way, your misguided thoughts of hope. What well, should be remind me of him? Protagonist from the first game? Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Anyway, I shall make a declaration. We will definitely destroy you! But so far, from the first chapter, he manipulated Terra Terra into killing someone. He was hoping it would be him. Um, but even still, he did a manipulation. So we now don't trust him. 
And then Fuyuhiko, that was just kind of sad. He didn't want to kill anybody and then he sacrificed himself because he didn't want to live without her. <laughs> Is anyone going to end up alive at the end of chapter six? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Baiki didn't deserve to die. Mind you, neither did my hero. Um, she covered up a crime, but she didn't know she had. I don't know. No one deserves to die for covering up a crime, really. Doing the crime, yes, but then that's what justice is for. But anyway. The hope of all the ultimates here will definitely completely utterly destroy you. There won't be even a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning on saying such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even for you, he could die, you know. Not yet. He's still alive. What? What? Everyone. For you, he is still alive. Are you serious? Ah, I'm just gonna let him do that sound effect. Magically, we rushed over to for you, he side. We just got slashed in the face. Oh, he got slashed a little bit. Dunk, spunk. <laughs> Great sound effects there. He, he, he's still, he, he's still breathing. Yeah. Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey, you need to save him. Hey! Also, I just realised that the princess's shoes. We have those, so I wonder if she would like more shoes. Romeo and Juliet, kind of. Says him right. You're so stupid. Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? Yes. That's how you, why you ended up like that. You stupid brother. Sorry, Come on. You to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it. A surprise order? What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some accuser scum? That's wrong. Because it would have been different had he survived... She died, and he'd actually ordered her to do the thing. He didn't want her to do that. She decided to do it. So, yeah. It's your duty to save him. Huh? Duty. Hey, hey! This is written in the school trip rules. <sighs> they alone will be executed! Oh my god, Monami is brilliant! Oh, only the black... If only the black can get executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> Well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey. But you, you should be able to do it. Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So, I'll save him. Really? Like. He's actually going to do this all along, so I've already prepared for this. <gasps> prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere. Gradually grew closer and closer. A freaking... oh, an ambulance? Oh my god. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Kilgood. Dr. Kilgood, you've already killed your patients. We've got to get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. Yeah, it would have been different had he ordered her to kill. He didn't. He was angry, he wanted answers, but he didn't order anyone to kill. So therefore, hopefully it won't be weird, like it is with, you know, creepy cotton hair guy. Magito. After he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Yeah, we've, we've done a five and a bit hour stream again today. That was not intentional. The technical issues threw me off, and then obviously we were just so close to the end. I think chapter three needs to be split differently. Is it really going to be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Unless we just want to say that Sunday streams are just going to be longer. Just accept it. Can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's going to be fine. He's probably going to get better and come back to us again. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He's definitely going to come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Mm. But all we can do is wait. <laughs> we have to wait for him. 
I mean, he caused Mihiri's death, you know. However... You must put that aside since Pekka has already been punished. Did... Nine... No, not nine hour stream. We did, like, an entire chapter and more in that nine hour stream. With Danganronpa. That was ridiculous. My voice can't hold out that long. It's only, it only works because the trial is mostly voiced by the actors. So I don't have to do any voices. Um, or the nonary games, but that's just because I love the nonary games. That was worth the nine hour streams. To be fair, I mean, we've done 24 hour streams, but no. We'll just accept that they're going to be slightly longer and try and portion it appropriately. <sighs> so we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, there are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move forward like an arrow of light pissing through the darkness. D damn it! I guess. Things aren't as exciting if a shit stirrer like him ain't around. I didn't realise it, but I was wishing for that too. In the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Here you go! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. But yeah, it's like not fair. And so the class trial ended, but we still can't see the real ending that we really want. We still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? Well, at least another eight people are going to be dead. <laughs> and there'll be like four of you left, probably. No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even us back. I'm hoping... Um... Ultimate Gamer Lady and him get to the end. It would be ironic if we died. That would be weird. Um, but I don't know who else. Probably Akane. I mean, you know, and Nekomaru. Though Sakura did die in the last one, but she was, the, she was a spy. Or at least she was being blackmailed. There is potentially still someone who's not a student. I don't know. It could be us. We could be the traitor. We don't know. We lost our memory. Anyway, I can't see a future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there alone. I mean, it's also possible that they're also in a computer simulation, so no one's actually dead. But, you know, the distrust that builds up to produce killers out of people that haven't met. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. It's going to now flip to a number. Fifteen days, ten hours, ten minutes. Till what? You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown, too? <laughs> More people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair and the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Yeah, I really want to know where this fits in the timeline. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Got to do seeds, seen punishments, sin and coconuts. Surviving students. 12. So yeah, we end up with four at the very end. To be continued next week. <sighs> I obtained a present and the Black Dragon Blade.
and also an achievement. So we have five left. if we collect all the hope fragments for somebody then we would get like a skill so maybe we just concentrate on trying to max out Gundam because it said that 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 would make our except that do we even need any more white lines so I think we got the white line ones oh, hey we hit Coins, yeah. We should probably not spend any more. Because it's steps. That's going to be four, five, six. We can't get Teru Teru. Or Mahiro now. Until the thingy majig. Island mode endings and then... The magical mirror. We tried that at the beginning of the game and I didn't quite get what I was doing. So without any damage. Ah, no, we've got 500 white noise lines. Okay. So we hit the 100, but we've not hit 25% of that yet. Interesting. Unless that's not cumulative. Um, Without using a concentration. I accidentally used my concentration skill. I hit the wrong key at the beginning, which is really annoying. Otherwise, I would have got that one. So yes, we got 100, but we haven't got 500. So we do need to potentially work on that skill. Um, how's my pet? Okay. So we save, return to title. Yes. So yeah, that was a ridiculously long stream that sort of got broken in the middle because, oops, I had a weird video glitch. So I have to do updates, which I don't want to do now because I'm tired. I'm just tired. So I may do updates. I mean, it's been fine after this. I don't know what caused the glitch. Um, let me see if there are any video card updates. Hopefully this, you know, recorded fine. I think it did. It just was the end. It suddenly just stopped recording. I was still trying to stream, but then I didn't have any video feed and it seemed like it had frozen on the stream. So I don't know. Anyway, um... We came back. We restarted OBS and we came back. So it's nothing permanent, but hopefully it's not something that's going to, you know, affect future streams. I don't really want to have to deal with tech issues because then that's more likely then to go while I'm not streaming. And it's my anniversary, my three year affiliate anniversary on Tuesday. Um, we're going to start with Ghost Trick and hopefully that works for streaming. If not, we'll line up some other games that I can play as well, um, so that we have options to fall back on and make it like a showcase type thing. And then, yeah, Wednesday's co-stream with Jesse. Not sure if we were here at Referring or something else. Um, he's currently doing a race right now. Um, no idea what I'm doing on Thursday. Maybe more power wash. No idea what I'm doing on Saturday. Got to sort out my promo games. But Sunday, next Sunday, we'll be back with chapter three. Story, lots of talking. So again, I probably won't be 
a longer stream, but as I said, I do need to try and balance it out so I don't have like a three hour stream than a five hour stream. Four hours would be better, but I think this was four than five. So, you know, nine hours for, to complete a chapter is... Eh. Anyway, look, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat. And, um, well, the choice is Jesse is doing um, a race. It's week one of the cross keys, Swiss week thing. Um, and Leaky is doing Dave the Diver. Um, that's like, I, I don't want to pick between my two friends. So if I just do shout outs for both of them in the channel, either go watch both or Neither. <laughs> um, gotta wait for the cool down. There we go. Um, I'll let you pick which person you want to go see, or maybe you want to end here. But I am. Um, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Not quite sure what happened there. Never had that happen before. Um, but yeah. I'll hopefully see you on Tuesday for my anniversary stream, 8pm UK time, as an event in the Discord if you're interested, otherwise catch you later. I literally can't remember whether I just said I've been Joe otherwise known as Angel SK. I'm definitely tired. <laughs>